Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan Beaton and I will present our work named Wasser, Visual Analogies of Situation Recognition. This is a joint work with my collaborators from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. We all know word to vec analogies. King to queen is like men to women. One way to think about it is that we have some kind of B prime that is similar to B the same way that A prime is similar to A. Now let's try to do the same with images. The task is to select the image that best completes the analogy. You have four candidates and you need to select one of them. Take a second and think what is your solution. And the answer is three. We have a man swinging on a tree changed to monkey swinging on a tree. So if we are given with a man shivering in the cold, the solution should be some kind of monkey shivering in the cold. And three is the only select candidate in this case. And one way to think about it is to find the main difference between A and A prime, man changed to monkey, and apply it to B. So this is Wasser. It's a new task, which involves choosing the correct candidate and dodging the distractors. And we focus on complex images describing scenes. So we will show a scene with a girl feeding a calf rather than that's just an image of a calf. And it is automatically generated with over 500,000 silver label analogies. And we crowdsource 4,209 analogies to create a gold standard test set with high human accuracy. We show it has over 90% accuracy. We evaluate state-of-the-art computer vision models, both in zero-shot and supervised experiments. And we show that models can solve analogies well when the distractors are chosen randomly but all models struggle with well-chosen, difficult distractors. And we have a large gap from human performance, offering opportunity for new research to explore. Now let's see how we generated this dataset. We leverage Visual Semantical Labeling dataset, Visual SRL. So we take MC2 uh, from the paper Situation Recognition, Visual Semantical Labeling for Image Understanding, where they uh, describe um, role annotations for each image. For example, here we have an agent which is a boy, he is jumping from a cliff uh, to a destination, the water. So the main basic steps to create analogies is only to find A and A prime with a single difference and then to find B and B prime pairs exhibiting the same difference. And after we use the semantic role annotations to find these uh, pairs, we then search for distractors and we experiment with random di distractors and also with difficult distractors. To select difficult distractors, we find we search for things that are might be confusing, like similar to A, A prime, B, but not to B prime. And here we can see that it would be much easier to solve the example using random distractors rather than difficult distractors. And here we see a pair from our data set where we only have one difference between the semantical annotations, a car changed to bicycle, but both are towing a boat in a driveway. Now the problem with this strategy to create analogies data set is that the Institute corpus was not created with analogies in mind. Salient differences are often omitted and less important ones are highlighted in the visual semantic role annotations. For example, what is the main di difference between this image pair? Is it the dog breed, the dog color, the leash color? So actually the semantic role annotation says that this is a beagle change to a puppy. We propose different filters to keep pairs with only single salient difference. And there are many more filtering strategies possible. But we use three layers of filtering. Textual only, WordNet based, where we filter hypernames like dog to puppy and more. Visual only, where we filter cases where the different key or different item between the pairs is too small to notice. And perhaps the most interesting one is the visual and text uh, filter, which is clip based which we will now see. So we take a pair which is a candidate to be filtered or kept in our data set. And we need to understand whether it has one main salient difference. 
So we take the annotation, a tractor and trailer, and we take the images, and we ask clip uh, the probability. Uh, for example, here we see that um, a photo of a trailer is 94% uh, um, to be uh, fit to this image, and a photo of a tractor is 6% to fit to this image. However, if we look on this image, this image is 55% likely to be a photo of a trailer rather than a photo of a trailer, tractor. So this given pair seems confusing because the left image can be considered as trailer as well. So this difference is not salient and therefore we filter it from our dataset. On the other hand, this difference is salient. This is a pair that we keep for our dataset. It is concretely show a statue changed to man. And clip is 100% sure that this photo is, is a photo of a statue and not a man, and that this uh, photo is 98% to be a photo of a man and only 2% to be a photo of a statue. Now, the automatic generation part generates over 500,000 analogies. We construct a test set and sample a dev and train sets for annotation. We ask five annotators to solve 4,214 analogies. And we see that in 93% of the cases, there is an agreement of at least three. And in that 79% of the cases, the majority vote, the label agreement of the annotators, agrees with the dataset label. This is from the automatic generation part. And the resulting goal dataset is the selections agreed upon the majority vote of the three annotators. And we also evaluate the gold standard test set with other 10 annotators who didn't participate in the data generation part. And we require a majority vote of six annotators. And we see that they solve Bustler with over 90% accuracy. Now let's see how models solve Bustler. We experiment with arithmetic representation, which reminds the reminds uh, world to vec models, where we take pretend embeddings and we do vector arithmetics. We do b plus a prime minus a, and we we took several um, computer vision models for the pretend embeddings, and then to find the candidate, we just iterate each candidate and measure the similarity, cosine similarity, to this arithmetic representation and select the, select the top one. For supervised experiments, we take the same arithmetic representation and we also experiment to just concatenation, uh, concatenate the input. And we follow a common design where we just take the input, concatenate it to the, each of the candidates and train a classifier on top of this representation to find the correct answer with cross entropy loss. Now let's see the results. We see that generally models solve analogies well when the destructors are random. We have 86, 77, 70, uh, but we see that all models struggle with difficult destructors. So this is uh, the bottom line. So we experiment with several uh, VIT, v, the, uh, computer vision models. VIT, Swin, Transformer, DIT, Convnex. Here, this is a previous work which extracts image caption uh, given uh, the arithmetic representation. Here we try some kind of destructors elimination like in a quiz with multiple choice uh, and more. For supervised experiments, we see that the performance is only 2% higher than the zero-shot baseline, but still far from human performance, which is 90%. We also experiment with partial inputs, where we show that this is difficult to reach high performance on Vassar using partial inputs, but this kind of cheating is possible when the destructors are random. And finally, since Vassar is uh, automatically generated, uh, we can generate more destructors. So we take, uh, initially we have 25 random chance, uh, so we double the number of destructors, and now we have eight options, so we have a random chance of uh, 12 and a half, 
and we see a moderate drop in the results of the random destructors from 86 to 79, but a much larger drop on the difficult destructors from 50 to 27. And it indicates the importance of the destructors selection. Take a look at the project website, where you can interact with the dataset, see the code, hugging face integration, you can see the paper, leaderboard, test yourself on how well uh, you can solve analogies. By the way, this is the uh, hugging face integration of the dataset where everything is available to download and to display. And you can also explore different uh, analogies we have in our dataset because we have several categories. We have analogies of a, uh, where the item change is a verb, a victim, tool, vehicle. For example, this one is item. We have a tractor in a truck, and here we have a tractor in some kind of a tree. So here we have a, a car crashing with a truck. So here we should have some kind of a car crashing with a tree. So what is the solution? This is the solution. So uh, we are welcoming, welcoming you to explore Wasser. Thank you very much.